Okay, 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 okay. Um, macros, 1,690 today, 166. No, that's wrong. I made a mistake. Um, I measured my, the amount of, steak that I ate earlier this morning, I, I put that in correctly into my calorie tracking app. So it originally says 166 grams of protein, but in actuality it's 152 grams of protein, which kind of sucks because that means I could have eaten a bit more. Um, so this number is a bit off. Instead of 1,690 calories, I ate 1,598 calories after readjusting um, the amount of steak that I had earlier this morning. And uh, 138 grams of carbs, that's still correct. Um, yeah, kind of low on, on the amount of protein that I ate. I didn't know. Um, I like to err on the side of more when it comes to protein, um, which would have me eating upwards to you know, I don't normally exceed 190, 191 grams of protein, um, but I like to come in around 170 grams. Uh, that's just for my comfort. Again, when it comes to being in a caloric deficit and maintaining as much muscle as you can while you're in the process of fat loss, uh, my understanding is that you want to increase the amount of protein that you consume so it uh it focuses on muscle retention <sighs> that's all good that's all good it's just one day and you know when i consider the first time i got shredded two years ago back in 2021 i think like i was doing the uh daily recommended uh the daily recommended um proportions when it comes to proteins, carbs, and fats. So I think 30%, if not less, maybe even 25% of my diet was focused on protein. So I was eating way less protein, is what I'm saying. And I got down to 175 pounds and looked, I mean, I looked amazing. I've posted photos of myself at that weight with that specific diet. And uh, I looked great. Whether there was a significant loss of muscle or not, doesn't really matter because again, it's all about the aesthetic and I, I like the aesthetic that I achieved two years ago. With that being said, with the new knowledge that I now have access to, I am approaching it with a more scientific practiced manner and that's increasing the protein. Simple as that. So if the day ends with me ending at like 155 grams of protein, not the end of the world, I say all that to say. Didn't go to the gym today. Um, woke up feeling a bit lousy health-wise. Um, just felt extremely low energy. Uh, had something of a sore throat that's kind of going away. We'll see how I feel tomorrow. I'm hoping I'm feeling better. Um, but just getting through the day, not even a lot of like, activity, not a lot of uh, a physical movement. I would say that when I don't feel my best self, um, I get a little moody, maybe even a little depressed, just because I have such a strong connection with my body. It's such a huge part of my identity that if my body, if some aspect of my body isn't feeling well, then um, my mind comes kind of comes along with it. And I should do some reverse thinking on that, where if my body's not feeling well, my mind shouldn't follow it. Instead, my mind should be positive, optimistic, and then my body can follow that. You don't want the cart to lead the horse, so to speak. Um, so I will keep that in mind as I go to sleep tonight that, yeah, I might not be feeling 100% but that 
shouldn't have an impact on how I think and how I operate. I skipped the gym because I knew that my workout was going to be shitty. And I don't know if that's a good enough excuse. I don't think it is. <sighs> but, you know, um, it just goes back to always looking for opportunities. I, I really got to break that habit. Always looking for opportunities to take it easy. It's got to end. And I think about like the one rule that I'm committed to, the one rule that I have to abide by every every day, which is coming in below 1,700 calories or five burpees per calorie that's over. Everything else, if I can let it slide, if I can get, if I can sneak under it, then I'm going to take that opportunity. And that mentality is getting in the way of additional progress. I understand it. I'm admitting it to myself. So ain't nothing to it but the change. These mental patterns. I, I want to stop giving myself breaks. Because at some point, at some point in the game, I'm going to be a professional at this. I'm going to be a professional at giving assistance on this process. And it doesn't involve shortcuts. It doesn't involve cheating the process. It doesn't involve cheating yourself. I'm saying that for me and I'm saying that for my future clients. The goal isn't to make it easier. The goal is to get through it and grow as a result of getting through it. I'm going to watch this one again <laughs> just so I can hear it, hear the words. It's not about making it easy about growing with the struggle, evolving. Sometimes you gotta speak this shit out loud. Keep it moving. This is probably the best I've acted while not feeling my most healthy. Normally, <laughs> If I wake up feeling kind of shitty, like I have a cold or I have a cough or like a sore throat or achy, achy, achy bones, achy body, then like I stay in bed all day. I'm ordering out. I'm getting some fucking Uber Eats, some DoorDash, and I'm eating a whole lot of food, watching Netflix. I didn't do any of that today, but I still took it easy and I don't think I needed to. Baby steps, baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. I'm already feeling better. It's all mental. Tomorrow I'm gonna fucking kill it at the gym. Glad we got that clear. I'm done. This was a short one, maybe. I don't even know. I feel focused. Today was not an L, but it was not a W. Just gotta start fucking being honest with myself as to where I am in this process. Came in under 1,700 calories. That's a W. I could have gone harder. That's an L. Guess it's just that simple. Works for me. <laughs>